Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm gonna be going over this month in Dragalia Lost. So, let's get right into it. So, if you don't know what this month in Dragalia Lost, it's basically gonna tell us everything that's gonna be happening in this month. It kinda tells itself, to be honest. <laughs> I do these videos every year. Every month, <laughs> so... <laughs> it just hit me down that I've never explained it. Anyway. Uh, one Starry Dragon Yield is the event that's currently going on. It's the new invasion. You can get these worm prints, which I believe all of them are limited, so it would be smart to pick them up while you got the chance. Uh, always good to keep them on hand. It's better to have them than to wait a year or half a year, depending on when they bring this back. The Galadragalia, of course, featuring Galakatov and uh, Dragon Yield Nevin. Yeah, spread the holiday cheer early with us nerfing 40 minutes before the banner drops Nevin's shared skill then going dark on it and never bringing it up because we knew we fucked up giving him a strength amp at level 3 to, to access to everyone. Oh man, alright, I'm not better. Next. <laughs> I never mentioned it in the summer video so I feel I had to mention it. To be fair, you have to mention it. Dragon Yule Ilya uh, featured in a prize showcase literally right after them. Here she is looking real cool on a snowboard. Like that they have one for Mordecai. Here he is in a, a getup as well, but in the story he's just a regular old Mordecai, which is pretty funny. Light and Wind attuned versions of Sir are here as raid bosses for Trial of the Mighty this month. Clear these quests to earn rewards like materials for unlocking mana spirals for a Nell or Victor for the daily bonuses. We already knew this because they show this off really early. They show like the entire like, hey, this is what we're gonna get. So I've known about this for a while. I think two deserving mana spirals for sure. She's probably one of the oldest Lancers in the game. Uh, was released right after Halloween Ellie, which is really funny when you remember Halloween Ellie is a light Lance unit just like her. Um, and Victor used to be an old like, he used to be the go-to wind blade. One of the one of the two go-to wind wind blades for sure. Her, him, and um, is he sword or is he blade? I actually never pulled Victor <laughs> until recently, and it was after he was already not uh, as used anymore. But he used to be uh, one of the most used along with um, Bright Ellie back in the day. That's what I remember most. When is Bright Ellie gonna get her mana spiral? Damn, there's so many units to give mana spirals to, and not enough bosses. <laughs> to make them fight for Charles of the Mighty. Anyway, Legend Difficulty for Jabaldoeth and Piercing Gale and the Rise of the Sinister Dominion will be added on the 7th. Congrats to everyone out there who uh, is ready for it. You got new content coming. The Great Dragon Duel Offense Onslaught event will return mid-December. Part 1 of Chapter 23 of the main campaign will be added in late December with every new chapter. We draw closer to the heart of the story. There we go. Get ready for that. You're gonna have to catch up on a lot of stuff. <laughs> Various events are planned to ring in the new year at the end of December for further animations. Please, please wait, which is 100% expected. They're not gonna tell us what's coming at the end of the year because they never do. Anyway, future updates. The long-awaited Enter the Kaleidoscope mode will be added in the next update. You begin your journey by selecting a single adventurer from your roster to explore the labyrinth. Uh, there's one goal, reach the bottom in one piece. Your adventure begins at level 1, but you will increase in both level and strength as you collect weapons, worm prints, and other uh, treasure chests. Defeat enemies. Keep your- I completely screwed up that sentence at the end. Keep your wits about you and see how far into the mysterious kaleidoscope steps can you reach. So here we kind of see the equipment. You start with a basic sword, a basic ring. You get another sword. Fafnir pouch. You can equip a single weapon up to three worm prints of any given time, but if the equipment appears identical on the surface, even if it has its own varied collection, stats, skills, and abilities, just like a roguelike would. Uh, so to be sure to examine your loadout down to the finest detail and upgrade when something better comes along. Hmm. Schools can, uh, schools. Skills can be found in treasure chests or dropped by defeated enemies. You can choose from eight different scared chills. Scared chills. Shared skills. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. Uh, if that seems like a little overwhelming, fear not. The battle will be put on hold while you evaluate what's best, best to use. As you progress through the labyrinth, powerful enemies will attempt to stand in your way. Once defeated, they will drop multiple dragons, but you can only keep one, so choose wisely. 
Choosing the dragon with the particular abilities that best suit your current strategy will be key to surviving the ever-changing uh, ever challenges you'll face. So, I don't know a scenario where you would want to pick uh, my little dude here over the big dude, but it's possible. That'd be really funny if it turned out that it, <laughs> there are scenarios where you would rather have him. Like skills, you could choose which dragon to shapeshift into from a cl oh from a collection that you've amassed along your journey. The actions will remain paused while you decide which one to shapeshift. So read the battlefield and evaluate your option. That's cool. Note that certain rules apply to adventures with unique shapeshift or dragon drive gauges. Everyone needs a helping hand now and then, and this Fafnir has your back. You're still in the driver's seat, but as you explore and fight, the Fafnir will provide support by attacking enemies and restore your HP. For more info into for into the kaleidoscope and its mechanics, please see the corresponding notification when the mode is released. This seems really cool. I can't wait to actually try this out <laughs> because um, it it could it has potential to be really cool if there's like different like scales to it of how difficult it is, or the higher you are, the more difficult it is, or something like that. A um, lot of cool different variations that you can kind of go down to. Maybe use stuff that you're not used to seeing. Like, oh damn, I randomly got the skill of this unit I've never used before. <laughs> so now how do I adapt and actually use it? It's going to be interesting to see for sure. Though I'm going to assume these shared skills are all ones that... Actually, no, because this isn't the regular shared skill of Ellie. Ellie's um, shared skill is... Um, the buffer. I remember that much. So it looks like it might just literally be every skill in the game, I think. That's cool. This cool this mode seems very cool, and I can't wait to actually play it and check it out. So anyway, in conclusion, thank you for reading this month's update. We're giving all players the following gifts this month. Sunlight Ores, Summon Vouchers 5, thanks for that. And we'll see you guys basically at the end of the month. So yeah, this update, um... It makes sense for what they kind of go. December is going to be a very tough month because at the end of the year is, of course, New Year's and all those units are limited. But at the beginning of the year, we have Dragon Yule characters who are also limited. So Nevin over here, as much as I was giving a little bit of guff there, he's still, I think, very solid for an actual adventure. Just a shared skill isn't as godlike as it was when <laughs> it was first announced. Um, Gatav is, of course, pretty good. I don't know what she does, but just based off of this look, this particular set of stuff, she looks like worth owning. And plus you get a little Mordecai there. If you're a person who's just in for the Mordecai smile, he also comes with the package. Um, yeah, these two definitely need the spiral. So all in all, I think pretty good. There's going to be some stuff to go around. It The way it kind of is parted around kind of feels like there's not much, but there should be with this new mode with the the legend difficulty for Jabal Doif, which I usually downplay a lot because I don't do it, but there's plenty of people who do. <laughs> so I'm, I'm learning to do that a little bit better and say like, oh no, this is coming for a lot of people and they'll enjoy it. So yeah, I think this month should be pretty, pretty active, I think, especially as we all wait for kind of the end of the year and see what Dragalia has in store for us, because I'm sure it will be great. But yeah, that's the end of this video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can leave a like. I didn't ask for it at the beginning because I felt it would just be better to actually get into what's going on in this month and make it a little better for you guys and potentially make it much worse for you, for me, because not a lot of people actually <laughs> make it to the ends of video. So if you made it this far, feel free to leave a like because it helps a whole bunch. Comment down below about what any of the things I discussed here and also subscribe to me if you want to feature more videos featuring me. So yeah, that's it. Goodbye, everyone. See you guys next time. Have a good day and have a good night. Bye-bye.